Alrighty. What is your name? Mitchell. What are you to me? I am your boyfriend. I almost said girlfriend because like <laughs> she's my girlfriend. <laughs> and what is today's date? Today is our third year anniversary, one twenty-five twenty-four. Woohoo. Three year anniversary. That's insane. It is insane. And what better <laughs> way to celebrate it than to go to <laughs> Barnes and Noble. He's actually willing to go to Barnes and Noble and shop for books for me. So that's yeah. exciting. So today, Mitchell here is going to be picking out books for me to read somewhere in the near future. I'm going to try my hardest to keep my mouth shut because there are a few books I do have on my radar, but the only hints I'm going to be giving him is if I own the book and if I've read the book. So you can choose based off of the summary of the book, the color of the book, the genre. You can completely surprise me. Do whatever you like, whatever you feel. Usually, like, the first thing that attracts me is, like, the design and color of the book, so... So you're saying you would judge a book by its cover? I guess. <laughs> in this scenario, yes. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. We are headed in the bookstore. We'll see how this goes. I think he'll be nice. I think he'll be I'll nice. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Maybe. Why, thank you. Uh, Holy crap, this is way too big. Yeah, this one is pretty. This is giant. Decently sized, so. Uh, yeah, guide me towards, like, your kind of books, maybe? Uh, nope, that's for you to figure out. What the? Well, I mean, you can kind of see, like, this is mystery oh, and thriller. I found romance already, okay. Look at all this romance. Holy crap. There's so many options. Oh, like, man. look at all this. Where do I begin here? <laughs> this is too much. Um... Do you like mysteries and thrillers? Uh, like I said, you can completely surprise me. <clears throat> Choose anything you want. See, I wish they were all facing me. I hate how they're like all inwards because I can't see the cover. I can see the cover of this one, which is interesting. <sighs> eh. And all of them look like the same too. Like, <laughs> look at these. They all look like the same. That does not look like the same. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just like, getting too ahead of myself. Maybe I need to start from square one. We got Love Buzz. As for these, nah, not catching me. Mr. Malcolm's West. West. <laughs> Some of these titles, man. Collided? It's part of a series. I don't know which book it is. I don't remember. That's book two. That's Ooh, part of a series. Five, right? That's the that's the first book to the billionaire series. Oh, I can see. It's one, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can do is look at all of like these tables because oh, yeah. it has like I forgot about kind these. of popular books, I'd that's say. That's right. I forgot about these. Here's like Valentine books. <laughs> Valentine's books. I don't know, they have hearts. Any thoughts? Anything grabbing you? Not yet. Not yet. We have a gift card we're going to use, and, and with the budget we kind of have, it'll probably be four to five ish books. So I can be kind of, you know, lenient, generous. I don't know what <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool one. I've read quite a few of her books. You want me to tell I you like... which ones I have and have not read? I know. This, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> I like this one a lot, so I'll come back to that one, but it is called, I'll hang on to it actually, so I don't forget. I like it. Didn't you start this book? I think you I, did. I read that book, Oh, you read yes. it? That's okay. I remember you reading this one mm -hmm. and doing a review on it in your video. Mm -hmm. You liked it. Canadian Boyfriend. <laughs> Canadian, I haven't heard of that one. They're hockey. Okay, All right. okay, okay, I get it now. So this is the second book it would be then? Wildfire? Uh-huh. Okay. The worst book. This is the literature, <laughs> which I, I, if you want to pick me out a literature book, I, I could. I, up to you. I, I'm not going to stick completely to the romance. I'm, I'm going to see what's like around here. You like horror a lot, so <laughs> I won't do that. I'm not being mean, I said. He knows I don't like mystery. horror. Mystery. I know you like a mystery, potentially. See, th these mystery books are like pretty big, though. What <laughs> you, size is You the haven't word? seen big yet. I heard those Tom Clancy books. I, I've like seen things about those. Okay, none of these mysteries are grabbing me yet. This one already looks like some Scooby-Doo knockoff. A bit, yeah. <coughs> Actually, like this one, is this just like a misplaced, like is this mystery or? Um, let's see the back. It seems Summer. like a title of like a romance book, but it's a place in the mystery. Where would I find that information? You read the back of it and find out what genre it is. Does it just say the genre? No, you gotta read the summary. <sighs> Blah, 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 Doesn't blah, 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 sound blah. like mystery. No. <laughs> okay, we got more mystery and thriller over here. I will say the books that are on the tables are normally like, for right. instance, book talk books or like ones that are more popular, selling fast, that kind of thing. Okay. Well, like, would there be more romance books on the edges? I'm not gonna tell oh you. My God. I guess let's go for a little walk for a bit. <laughs> you want oh. me to tell you? Look, look forward. 
Toys? Yeah, young adult. I seen that right over here. If you go to around to the other side, there's more too. Oh my god, this is like a whole new world here. Oh yeah, here's this one that you read. Hmm? Oh, better than the movies. It's a really good one. Oh, isn't this the movie? It's a TV show. The Samurai. I thought there was that was a movie. It's a TV show. But this is the movie. It's all the boys I loved before. That's yes, the, yes. Okay. Ooh, this one kind of is dark. I like it. Ooh, feel the, the texture lake. of that. See, some people don't like the texture of that. I I don't mind. I like it. It's I like it. What is it about? I kind of like the. I won't. Saying that, I kind of liked it. This one sounds good too. Missing dead girls. See, I don't want to carry so many books because I'm gonna forget where I. Might as well grab from. a cart. Hey, you know this one. Oh, the maze. Actually, I don't have the first book. I have all the other books. So, mm -hmm. like, if I wanted to start you off, and then I can give you the other books to finish off the series, because it mm -hmm. is a good series. I loved. That was actually a really interesting series to me. There's like love in it. It's actiony. It's pretty good. <laughs> I love how you're convincing me to read a book when you're the one picking me up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We started this in my junior year in my English teacher's class, and it was pretty interesting. It's about the Holocaust. It's like a historic book, but it's interesting. We only got like a quarter way through the book COVID hit, so I never ended up mm -hmm. finishing it. So maybe. But, um, I see sprayed edges. Can't say nothing. No, I'm not saying anything. I just said I see sprayed edges. Oh, I thought Oh. I think it's pretty. That is I just cool. think they're really, really pretty. That's sick. Why don't more books do that? You finished this series off, right? Yep. And you finished this series off? I did, but I have not read The Brothers Hawthorne. And you've read Catching Fire, Hunger Games, and you're working on that. Mm hmm Not the song written. Yep. I'm proud of you. You know, like, all the books that I read. Okay, you said the book displays are, like, the best. Well, I never said they were the best, because <laughs> there's a few books They're on the book They're just, like, the more displays. recommended. What do you got there? Secret. When You Were Mine? Nope. That's not the one I got. Because by Rebecca. It's a secret that I got. <laughs> mm -hmm. I definitely can't see the cover. It's by Rebecca, and I like the colors. I like the purple, I like the blue, and I like like the peach kind of pinky sand. Okay, um, these ones seem more like my type. Because I like, like those dragons and medieval times and war and stuff. Well, it's not necessarily medieval times. Tell me. I feel like there's got to be more than orchid times. grown from ashes. Romance. That sounds like it's like... <laughs> You were saying about a uh, big book? Jesus. Or how about this? Damn. Science fiction? I like science fiction. See, some of these books interest me, but like, I know they probably don't. You don't know, care less. Well, you can choose whatever your heart desires. <clears throat> this one looks cool. Okay, that sounds like too much. Like, you would not probably like that. Let me get back to the romance over here. Is this. I wonder if this is like the same thing. There's a thing called the invisible string theory where like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty much where you always live within pro close proximity of the love of your life. Or like you cross paths. Oh, well. that, oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. That's called the invisible string theory where you're like, you're attached, but you don't know it. That's why you're in like close proximity. I wonder if like that's like a planet where like this huh. lady's strings attached. Look at to the cover. Guy. Not it's like pretty. I'd say anything, but look at the cover. It's pretty. Okay. I got like, Five bucks worth a lot here. I think I'm gonna put back the book thief. I like the book thief and maybe potentially we'll get it. But I think for the video, I'm gonna get her some, I don't know, romance. I really like the color and cover of this one, but like, it's pretty expensive, man. How much is this one? <laughs> it's fine, I'm gonna buy I'm really well. liking this one. So this one, I think, I think I'm gonna get. It. Seems like some like Romeo and Julia type story. It might be a retelling. The wake. Oh man. Okay, I think I'm gonna put back the heart and bone one. It, it is pretty, but we're not big YouTubers yet to afford all these. We're a broke college, well, I'm a broke college student. You're a broke college graduate. <laughs> I don't know if that pickup doesn't like it, so or not. It was a little kid's toy that went. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. This is a Barnes and Noble exclusive? Yeah, because turn the page for exclusive Barnes and Noble content. So it's another story by her, which oh. Aurora is the main girl in it, so. Yeah. Interesting. I have the first book. I haven't read it yet, but I have the first one. Sounds hot. Making a scene. Hold on, I may have a penguin here somewhere. Going towards the little kid section, this is not good. How did we get to Christmas stuff? We went from books to penguins in about two seconds. <gasps> I see. Oh, now he sees a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> We'll find a whole you, oh, I didn't look at this at all. Any of these that you recognize? Any of them? Mm-hmm. Or heard me talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Which one? Like that one? I can't say a thing. What is that, bras? What? Oh, shoes. Aye, aye, aye. 
Bras? That looks like a bra. It looks like bra, like from like the straps and then, I don't know. <laughs> this is tough, man. This is tough. This one is kind of high on me. And I like that it's exclusive. That one is too. <laughs> the worst, best, oh, Lucy's score. Look at that. Okay, you can tell I like like the pinks and purples <laughs> and stuff. You're, you're a very like peachy guy. Yeah. You like peaches, co peachy like colors. Peaches. <laughs> we are in a Barnes and Noble. So? Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I watched this show on Netflix, but it's uh same guys who made like Midnight Mass, um, which is one of my favorite shows. It's, he makes like a horror genre. And I don't think, that, see, like the show wasn't that scary. I'm like confused, because I guess it is horror genre, but like, I like the show, so I go recommend to watch so, but the book might be good too. I don't, I wonder how much of a similarity there. I don't know, I got like, I got four books here. You want to show us what you got? Okay, I got The Wildfire, which is the second book or something i don't is this second book or just like a uh it's the second book in the, the icebreaker uh what's the series called maple hill series that's what it is i feel okay. so stupid i need that yeah i saw that here but i didn't think that's what it was called yep, that yep. seemed a bit weird for a series it's because that's oh. what the college name is it's maple oh, Hills. okay so i got that one and i like the cover it's that pink and peach theme the same with this one that pinky peach theme with the purple of course mm -hmm. but it also has rebecca as the author so that caught my eye a little bit then i just I like this one. I love the colors on it. The lanterns. The red string theory kind of actually what caught me in the first place because I saw the like the invisible string theory. And then we got kind of a mysterious one. Like we got all these fun colors and then just a dark the lake. <laughs> so I'm guessing this one is like a might have some love romance. It didn't seem like it. It seemed like they're best friends and they're solving something. I don't know. But we got this one and I, I think they're all sound interesting to me. I read the backs of all of them. So potentially we got our four here. Seems good to me. I um, think I'm ready to check out and I hope I did good. We are now checking out. Yes. Hello. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, we are now out of Barnes & Noble. I think that was successful. I, in my opinion, it was successful. Like, I saw pretty colors and pretty books. So I guess she's gonna let me know now if I pick some good ones. Starting off with a little oddball, we have The Lake by Natasha Preston. I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. Getting me out of my comfort zone, I like it. This one is The Red String Theory by Lauren King Kung Jensen. Kung Jensen. Kung Jensen. Sorry, we're pronouncing that wrong, but I think the cover is so it pretty. It is very pretty. It's like a sunset. I, like... I love sunsets and I love floating land turns <laughs> so i really like this and i like how he was explaining it of like what he thinks the book will be so yeah i'm excited i, I, don't, I could be completely wrong about the red string i just th thought of it as like the invisible string theory but it might not be but it just looks interesting sounds interesting and yeah, we'll see you'll see i guess i, I like it i'm we'll excited have to dive deep into it when you were mine by rebecca sterl sterl i think rebecca sterl i think it's like some type of romeo and juliet spin-off or like twist or something mm -hmm. i don't know but it doesn't seem i thought it sounded good it didn't seem too bad we so will see beef. and we have wildfire which probably majority of you watching probably knows this book and this book has aurora and russ which i'm excited because you didn't really get to know russ that much in the first book and then there's also a third book coming out this year whoa i think it's gonna be fun so which one is your favorite i'm guessing the wildfire Book. I mean, the only one I've ever heard of is Wildfire, so it's probably one I'm most excited about, but I am very excited for the Red String Theory. I think that's my second favorite. Did I do good? I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. I think mm. you you rocked this. She deserves some good books for our anniversary. She deserves something special. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, Mitchell here picking out books for me. I thought it was quite funny. The Barnes & Noble is... Uh store of you know <laughs> mystery and i didn't know what i was doing in that place i had felt confused the entire time you did it pretty good though. i just know romance I so i just went to the category i only like really knew so since it is our anniversary we decided to actually start our duo channel together we're launching i highly recommend to go check it out um we'll just put it in the description i think we'll have something pop up on the screen here but it'll be just mitch and becca and yeah so yeah. we're excited for that you'll see some videos popping up there definitely go subscribe to that we're excited we got a lot of big plans for it hopefully yeah. coming up soon so Feel free to subscribe to this channel as well as our combined channel. Like I said, we're really excited. We've got a lot of stuff planned. We'll see. Hopefully 2024 is going to be a good year. We're going to try to make it out to be, and you guys should too. Mm -hmm. um, and you can start off by going to get some books <laughs> or making, if you have a relationship, go make your significant other buy books. Yes. <laughs> All right. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Guys. We're watching us. We got to go. Yeah, I know. Here, wait. Can you face me for one second?
Thank you. I'll go place it. Nah, it's too easy to. Hey, careful with the book, ma'am. I feel so <sighs> awkward. Oh, this is funny. There's a Stranger Things book. Well, it's just on Lucas. There's different ones, yeah. What the? Who? Well, he's with Max, and you love Max, so he's really important. If there was a Max book, then that's okay. <laughs> but that's about Lucas. I don't care. Oh yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be saying Sorry. that after you, but. Well, I you, do like saying you. Say yeah, okay. I know you do. Well, talking about other girls. When you're celebrating a mm, third year so with sorry. me. <laughs> so sorry. See the book. See, I like it. That's it. But not Lucas. You gotta think against Lucas. Oh, yeah. He's dating Max. Oh, well. <laughs> She's married up a town Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend.